I frequently get feedback from Mac Power Users listeners that I need to keep track of. And we do a feedback show every two or three months, and I just keep a list of all that feedback email in a shared Google document with Stephen. So for the longest time, the way I've been doing this is copying the text out of the email, then going to Safari, opening the shared Google document, scrolling to the bottom, hitting paste, you know, it's just a bunch of manual steps, which for a guy who makes a podcast called The Automators is crazy. So uh, I took a few minutes today and wrote a quick, easy script to take a copied text and put it into the bottom of a shared Google document. And I thought that may be useful for some other people. So here's a video on it. The steps of the of the Keyboard Maestro uh, script are not difficult. First, we just open up Safari and we put it at the front. And then I move and resize it to put it on the right side of the screen. I usually keep Safari on the right side, so I just want to make sure it's where I expect to see it. Uh, and then I do a pause of one second. You need to give it a second to get the window moved. And pauses in this script are super important. Uh, then I insert this magical um, uh, URL. Now, if you go in any Google document or even a Google, Google uh, Drive folder or anything like that, and you save the URL, you can jump directly to it by pasting it. I've grayed out the one here because I don't want you guys adding a bunch of stuff to our feedback outline, but you can do this with any Safari URL. Uh, the trick here is pausing for three seconds. Now, I tried it one and a half seconds and it worked sometimes, but it always works with three seconds. And the point of this is, you need the page to finish loading before you hit command arrow down to go to the bottom of the document. If the page isn't done loading, it breaks. So I do a three second pause, and then I type a keystroke command down arrow, which jumps to the bottom. And then I insert text by pasting. It's a special action in Keyboard Maestro. And I just put a couple um, uh, lines in, and I put the system clipboard contents in the middle. So. The trick to all this is, is copying the text out of the email and then triggering the script and it'll just paste that um, copied text into the bottom of the document. You can insert the system clipboard by using the insert token with the clipboard, system clipboard. And that's all I did there to add that. So everything's working. I have now copied into the system clipboard the text that I'm gonna use, or at least the draft of the text I'm gonna use for the post that accompanies this video. I'm gonna pretend that's email text, and I'm gonna run the script. So uh, you can trigger this a variety of ways. I'm gonna put this on a conflict palette, and I cover this in more detail in the Keyboard Maestro short uh, field guide, but uh, I'm just gonna run it for now from here. So it's going to open Safari. It's gonna to go to the web page. This is the three second delay, giving it time to load. Command down arrow, went to the bottom, and then it just pasted the text in. You can see I tested it once before I recorded it. I forgot to delete that, but uh, it just pasted that text in for me at the bottom with the lines on the above and below. If you've got Google Documents where you're frequently pasting information, this is a really easy script to do that automatically.